Okay, let's talk about another data entry method for Google Sheets today. We'll talk about embedded forms. Embedded forms, as you might guess, are a way to embed forms in a Google Sheet. So I'll show you the demo quickly and then we can walk through how it works. But I made a button here that will trigger the form. The form then pops up and we control all the text, we control all the data, all the fields, everything. So we can put our item ID in here. You'll see an up and down arrow pops up because this is a number field. We'll have our free text field, a drop down menu field, and so on, a submit button. So let's say we're going to fill out this form and it's going to populate down here. Next item ID, category, let's say the price is 10, the count is 20. Again, these are numbers, so you see those up and down arrows. We'll click submit, just like a regular form. We click submit, the confirmation pops up, we press OK, and there it is. So it's a neat way to have a form inside the Google Sheet. It depends on who your user is, what user experience you're going for, and why you do this. It is more controllable than just typing in. You can use data validation. There are ways to control that. But this is a really neat way to control the entire experience where they type it in. You can then run scripts on it and do certain things. You can analyze the data or change the data or give warnings. So it's a much more powerful way to do it than just typing in. It's also a little more work, but it depends on, again, what experience you're going for and how the experience is supposed to work in general. Do you need data checks? Do you want to give feedback to the user? That part is definitely pretty powerful. As you saw, we had the alert box pop up. So you can have a conversation interaction with the user. So the code for it is right here in GitHub. If you want to click on that, you'll see here's the script and the template. So it's all in there. We'll look at the code in Google Scripts. So as usual, if you went to Tools, Script Editor, pops open that window. So we have two pieces of this. We have the template. So when you click on the button here, it opens this window. This is just HTML, which is internet markup language for defining what something looks like on the internet. So this is just, again, an HTML document. So you can go through and follow how it works, but you have your normal tags, you have your body, you have some input fields, just like you would on any form that you're making on the internet. You can see you can have data types, you have number or text. This one is text, but it's the drop down menu where you can choose from different items. Again, more numbers. You have IDs on each field to identify them. You have minimum and maximum numbers. And then you, I have a script in here that will run, it runs submit data. When you click the button, you run submit data and it runs this script. The script will, and this is JavaScript, so it depends on how far you want to go with your JavaScript encoding language knowledge. This will be a quick intro, so I'll talk you through the basics of it. If you really want to do it, you can copy the, the scripts from here and get pretty far with just changing a few things. So you may be able to do this without too much effort. But if you want to go really deep, you'll certainly have to understand a little better how all this works. But basically, the script runs. It grabs the data that was put into the form, and it runs another script in Google Sheets that will then take that data and put it into the form. So you see here, it runs a script. It takes the data you just submitted, and then it, it runs a script over here that is on submit form that and you can see how short this is right this is not this is very little scripting a few rows here a few rows here and before you know it, you have a form like this so it's really not too hard and as I said it's, it's pretty self-explanatory what's happening here so you can see we have we t grab a library that's just pre-written code from Google we have an alert you saw the alert that pops up when the form is submitted we just log some data to our logs in case we need to debug or see what's happening, which we talked about is in the logs. We set some variables based on the, the system that we're running. We have our spreadsheet file. We have the sheet we're in. We have the last row of the sheet. We use our date for certain of the data. And then that's it. We get a range. We set the value of the range. It's all pretty self-explanatory. Again, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on it but it's not that complicated to figure out. And it's really powerful. In general, Google Scripts are just really powerful for a lot of purposes. This is one more example. And you can see it's not a lot of work. It's not that complicated to figure out some of the basics of this. So anyway, you submit the form. This script runs. It, this script runs and just puts the data into the sheet as we talked about, throws the data in the last row. And that's really it. This one is for showing the data entry form. It just has some HTML that it grabs from the form template here, and then it just puts it in there. So 
that's one more piece of it. It's but again, it's it's only a few lines of code. It's not super complicated. And if you just take the code that I wrote and adapt it to your needs, it won't be hard to figure out. And then you have your form. So pretty straightforward, not too complicated. If you have questions, you can always reach out and you can find a lot of help on the internet, but pretty simple stuff, pretty powerful stuff with not that much work with Google Sheets and Google Scripts.